ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I took the earpiece off for some dumb reason and started the audio and so had to put the earpiece back in the ear. I wanted to talk to some of you. I told you about the ignorant police showing up at my property. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't violate anybody's laws. Go ahead. You can check every single time they've had to drop charges and send me on my merry little way. With the exception of the time I turned myself in. That's different. That I admit it and did it and so forth, paid for it and continued to pay for it. However, this last time, they had no justification. So I'm going after them. That's what I'm doing in the background. I am preparing lawsuits for these intelligent creatures. Oh, no, no, you don't arrest me and not have a reason for it and hold me for two years and two months and think everything's okay. Oh, look, and they charged me restitution twice. Twice? Dismissed the case and I have not gotten my money back. We don't play that. No, 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 I'm patient. I'm patient. Everybody reads what they sow. Everyone, including them. And trust me, the judge has gone through her own little headaches. And it, it isn't because she did something wrong to me. No, no, no. When it says you reap what you sow, it's not because you did that specific thing. It's because that's your conduct. That's your routine. That's your habit. See, those habits are going to get you in trouble. So when somebody is reaping what they sow, pay attention. Sowing is continual. You can't just sow once. So is continual action, verbiage, okay? So, oh, look at that, you just said so. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not concerned about the police knocking on my door. I have $150,000 worth of bonds. I will and can bail out. So I'm not worried about that. And all of you, all of you who are part of our programs that gave you bonds, that's exactly what you were given that for. Okie dokie. So that just in case anything, because you know how people like to threaten to arrest people, and we're going to be going through that a lot more. These bonds last for three straight years. Okay? We gave you guys, that's what the Fourth Amendment program was doing for you. It was protecting your interests. We gave you a micro trust in the Fourth Amendment program. Oh, and people still, well, what else do we get? Lord have mercy. God, Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, don't worry about me. I told you guys before it happened that I was going to end up in jail. And what happened? I ended up in jail. Told you I was expecting it, waiting for it to happen. Why? Because those of you who believed, I appreciate you, when I told you what I was allowed to see. Since 2001, I knew what was going to happen to me because the God that I served allowed me to see what was going to happen to me. Got one little short stint, which may be this next time, and then there's going to be another one after that, which is going to be violent. I don't want to. I don't want to meet the last one because the last one's going to be violent. It's going to be horrible. But I have confidence and faith in the one who allowed me to know what was going to happen before it happened. Okay, it's, there is so much more I would love to tell you guys. The only thing I can tell you is, as I've been saying, you've heard me say it. Go back and watch the videos even on October 6th. And even before that, two years ago, I've been telling people about this since 2015. That Israel and Iran are going to be in a conflict. And then you're going to hear reports about a dirty bomb. Hey. That's all I know. I don't know anything other than that. All I know is there was reports about a dirty bomb. Where at? I don't know. But look at all the damage Israel is doing. You see all of those nations out there, they were talking about having nuclear weapons and dirty bombs and all that. Well, just imagine if one of them actually does and the damage that could cause. Irreparable damage. And the retaliation they're going to take out on the people of that nation or group whom they claim did it. Just like Donald Trump saying that it was the Iranians who hacked his email system. How does he know it was the Iranians? How does he know it's not the CIA pretending it's the Iranians so that they can have conflict with Iran, so that they can go to war with Iran because they're sending all of those ships. The United States is not sending all of those ships over to that Red Sea because they like the sunshine. Okay? 
that, 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 come on now. They're sending all of those ships over there, all of those men. They're just doing it because uh, it's still my time. Uh, the men need a little vacation. <laughs> no, just send them over there, okay? When they get finished, they can come back. Please. They are gearing up because this has all been a plan, ladies and gentlemen. I told everybody in the group that we do our little gatherings on. I told them, I said, when that thing with um, Britain was going on, they were talking about the people rioting. I said, ladies and gentlemen, they've already reported this was a British teenager, 17 years old, soon to be 18, who did the stabbing. And then all of a sudden, the media put it out there that it was aliens, foreigners, illegal immigrants. It was people from a different country who had killed these kids and blah, 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 blah. They could have solved everything. Go and look at the reports. The reports are a part of history now. Go look at the reports. You'll see at no time that they emphasize, no, he was British. It was a British 17-year-old. It was not a migrant. They didn't do it. They had plenty of opportunity. What did Britain do? plan on doing as i told the group before they even did it i said what they're doing is they're getting ready to change laws and implement laws and put a smackdown on the freedoms of the people and sure enough they're arresting people who are posting negative information about the government who are talking about conspiracies ladies and gentlemen it's not pay attention illegal to talk about a conspiracy well, uh, it's leading to riots. No, they're not leading to riots. It's the government that's leading to the riots. Why? Because people are not rioting because they're reading something on social media. People are rioting because the government is withholding information and not making it clear to the people what's going on. And many of those articles that are being put out there that people are relying on and regurgitating is coming from the government. How do we know this? Because if it was anything else, the government would always sit up there and make statements telling everybody to calm down. And this is not this. And this is not that. People have it wrong. This was a 17-year-old. And because of his rights as a 17-year-old, we didn't release the information. But a court has just ordered us to do so. That's right. The court has ordered the release of the information due to the Daily Mail following a lawsuit. But that was over a week ago almost. Okay, so... All of that going on in Britain? Nah, don't believe the hype. They lied, and they're going to continue to lie. They're going to do the same thing here. Britain is just the start. See, they already cracked down on all the other countries, Russia, Ukraine, um, well, Iran, of course. Remember, this is a one-world government. This has nothing to do with the East against the West and Iran against Israel. No, what Israel is doing, pay attention, is sanctioned. That's why every presidential candidate is pro-Israel. Have you guys not understood that? It's not that Israel controls anything. It's just that they have to be a united front. So Israel, nobody is condemning Israel anymore. Israel just gets to do whatever Israel wants because Israel is so, so, so. They're not powerful, people. They are not powerful. Israel has already received sanctions of protection. That's all it is. They've been promised protection. That's why they're doing what they're doing. Oh, well, life goes on, huh? So, again, don't worry about me. I don't take sides in battles and all that stuff. I care less. I only put out information that I think is helpful to people. And then sometimes I'll talk about nonsense stuff about my health and stuff like that. But that's you know, that's par for the course. If I'm going to be taking the time doing these videos, taking up all of these hours, I'm almost at 20,000 videos, people. 20,000 videos since 2010. 14 years. 14 long years. It's almost 500 videos since the beginning of this year. So just um, stay tuned. There's more information coming. Hey. I got to let you guys go, but we are going to be giving you guys some more information soon. So take care of yourselves and have a good day.